Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog. We just finished our battle with the dragon, and uh, it went pretty well. We we are a little. Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog. We just finished our battle with the dragon. We defeated the gamma, the beta, and the alpha. I'll put a link to that in the description if you're just joining us. But we've got to do some preparation for the overseer, and I think uh, what we need to do is get a haircut real quick because you know I got to look better. I kind of starting to look like this in real life, actually. So that's that's also that's a that's a completely separate issue. So we'll accept that. There we go. So we got we got our hair cut. Let's get rid of our hair and our scissors. And we've got to get some preparation. So I thought I haven't really showed it very much as to like how much uh, how I collect resources and stuff like that for a long time. So I thought we'd just do a few things. So I think we'll go through the uh, swamp cave, I'm trying to make some cementing paste and. Uh, Let's go grab Lifter over here, and I just logged on, so everybody's breeding again. And we have uh, Anki. Where are you, buddy? That's our Dodicarus. There's our Anki. So grab our Anki. We'll head up this way. So we are here on the island map. We're going to do the Overseer, and then we're going to move on to Scorched Earth. But like I said, we've got some resources to collect. We've got maybe a better shotgun to make. I finally found a wreck saddle. It is a ramshackle, and if I'm remembering right, it does. Um, it's got an armor of 40-something, maybe 42 or something like that, so it's better than the uh, standard uh, primitive saddle which just has a 25 some of these haven't spawned back in yet so we'll have to fly up a little higher here we go so we'll see if this guy will actually just smash here and while it smashes i'll put a point into wait and now we're under attack come on man take care of that thing I don't really care about a scorpion. It's not really going to cause me much issues. All right. Well, here you go. Take the dumb thing out, would you? There you go. Here. And I'll grab some kite and what the heck, right? Okay. Where is our little dude? Did I grab him? There we go. Head up this mountain. If you are curious about where we are, uh, there is a ton of resources up here. I had about 36.057. Uh, five degrees uh, longitude just all over this mountain there's a ton of uh, metal mostly but also plenty of obsidian and a pretty good amount of crystal you know at the base of the mountain uh, at least on the mountain sides as you get up here there's a ton of these great metal nodes here we go oh we're almost done here I don't need so much of the rocks so let's just go ahead and dump that stuff and get some more metal. And we got another weight here. There we go. So let's keep moving. Well, let's grab hold of this dude. And we still got some movement here. So we can smash this one high yielding metal node here. And then we'll move on back down to our little metal processing area. Okay, here's our little base here. Let me eat some food and get that over with. And since I got the old S plus, I can pull resources in here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's grab metal. Let's just grab and put a half of it. Now we'll do half. Pull about half in here. Pull. Let's grab some wood. Yeah, we got some wood in the crafting station. Uh, let's just do 600 because we could use a little extra charcoal as well. I forget how much the uh, ratio is here. Okay, let's pull more metal over here and we'll do 1250 and pull some wood and we'll do ah, we'll do 600 again what the heck light that on fire let's get the remainder actually let's just see if there's any ones that have unrefined metal in them no it doesn't look like it well we'll stay in order here so let's pull the rest of the metal out of our Ankylosaurus wood and go 200 here. S plus makes life so much easier rather than trying to carry this heavy stuff around. Okay, so that's that's rocking and rolling. Now we can head back down here and then let's head grab a frog and head over to the swamp cave. 
made our way to the swamp cave and we are here at 62.7 and 37.2 degrees uh, longitude and we are going to also need a gas mask because the air in here is poisonous so you don't get in here very far without uh, taking damage just by breathing so you can also use um, can also use uh, what is it scuba gear I think you need like three pieces of scuba gear or something like that so you don't have to go to the trouble of making the gas mask I zipped in here for just a second and forgot to record so I thought I would start from the beginning because I don't think I, I never made a video about getting the artifact out of here or anything so I don't know if we're gonna go all the way to get the artifact but we are gonna go in here and get some cementing paste for sure um, and that'll be great. We've got our super good frog, and the frog has an even better saddle. So the only problem with the frog is it doesn't have a lot of weight. So we're probably going to have to dump a lot of stuff that we get. So the frog, right now we're using right click. I think that gets more cementing paste. Let's head down this way. It's pretty bright, but yeah, look at all these bugs over here. So if you're not using a frog which just trashes the bugs here, um, you're going to want definitely some bug repellent over here. And a ghillie suit's probably most of it, you know, other than the uh, gas mask and stuff like that is also going to help. So let's get rid of these guys. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's take, well, let's get rid of this last bug. And here we go. So <laughs> we've got a thousands of cementing paste already. So let's dump this meat. We're not going to need all of it. And we basically didn't take any damage. This dude was in a cryopod for a long time. So it's got some points I forgot to put in here. Look, I think they're respawning already. So... They respawn real fast. If we need the weight, we're going to let's we'll put in a little bit of weight, a little bit of health, and a little bit of melee damage here. If we need the extra weight, then we're going to go uh, ahead and dump all that chitin. Because right now, oh, we're doing 1,000 damage. That's pretty good. So this is an imprinted uh, frog that we bred. And, uh, yeah, so let's uh, get some more cementing paste. Looks like we're about half full already. Before we continue on, I think there should be some leeches in here. I hate leeches, but I would also like to get just a little bit of leech blood. So there should be some other nasty creatures in here, but for some reason I don't see them spawning in. Right now it's just bugs, so I, there should be, you know, the usual cave creatures. The onyx, the... Uh, the spiders and the titan bows and stuff like that and i'm just not seeing them which i guess is okay sometimes they just drop out of the world in caves for some reason i don't know why but it looks like i'm being lucky today although it just kind of feels wrong to do man we are getting so much cementing paste i think my harvest rates are 3x whoa there's there's a cave creature and that one is Okay, got rid of that. So let's just get our bearings here and uh, get rid of some of this meat. Don't need it all. What is that noise I'm hearing? It's a scary noise, whatever it is. Okay, we're still doing good. Huh, okay, well, let's head this way and get some more bug or cementing paste. Wow. Of course the frog's going to do extra damage against bugs. Makes total sense, doesn't it? Let's see what uh, left click does. Yeah, left click is only doing 605 damage. I don't know if we can get through here. No, can't. Let's see. Do do do. You know, I probably don't really need to get much further because we, <laughs> we got so much cementing paste. Uh, let's see. Let's just go ahead. Well, what's the, what's the weight limit here? Yeah, we're pretty close. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of these guys. We'll skip the uh, artifact. Okay, there's the leeches, and now we're pretty full. Right? Let's see what we got. 
wow we got tons of leech blood that is way more leech blood than we will ever need so let's just go ahead we'll keep this because we need uh, the megalania as a tribute i don't know if we're going to need it for the overseer but we might as well grab it we got 52 silica pearls and a torch sparkler skin for some reason i don't know so we're just going to head out of this cave then and grab whatever new bugs have spawned in or that i missed uh, should have the weight for it and just out of curiosity too let's see how far our mask is yeah we've lost quite a bit of durability on this mask already for just barely being in here okay we didn't go that way so let's just head back this way and take our cementing paste back to base i made a few resource runs and so what we were able to do was get uh charcoal from our metal operation and then we took the anki out and got a bunch of stone and stuff for making spark powder so we're gonna do as much spark powder as we can here i think well we probably didn't get it all out of this anki let's go see what the anki's got going on here oh, we did get it all out of the inky so that's good and then once that's made up we can go ahead and make that gunpowder so that shouldn't take all together that long let's go take a look at that t-rex saddle that we found the blueprint for it oh i left it in the smithy that's right which is where we're going to have to use it anyway so there it is it's a ramshackle it's got 42 armor yep that was right so it's actually not too expensive to make only 559 fiber 1062 hide and 139 metal ingots but we will have to make 18 of them if we do take 18 rexes um, to go after it so that's not too bad but i think what i'm going to do before um, we make that one is i got to look at it look for a lot of resources yet so i'm going to continue to look for a better blueprint and if i don't find one or if even if i do find one i am going to take um, a mind wipe tonic so that let's grab all these guys and yeah, i'll make four cementing paste um, yeah, mind wipe tonic, so I can uh, put all my uh, skill into craft or all my points into crafting skill, which I didn't, I've never put any points into it in this game yet so far. And so that'll give us a chance of uh, saddles with higher armor. And uh, next up, oh yeah, I got about 6,000 cementing paste uh, from the cave, so we might have to make a couple more runs depending upon what i want to build i have a really good shotgun right now um but i can build a better one here for, with 560 damage see i've got one with 531 don't know if you know an extra what 29 percent damage is worth it for 3765 cementing paste 2500 metal ingots and the big one here is 4600 polymer i kind of think i'm not gonna go ahead and craft that one up i've got all the best armor that i can but we got to get into tech stuff that's the other thing eh, that i haven't done yet um, because i'm going to definitely want to give myself uh, the best opportunity here so we're going to need a tech replicator which is going to take 150 black pearls 800 polymer that's quite a lot uh we're going to need we would like anyway a generator uh, and that's really expensive too 500 polymer 120 black pearls and then uh what is the rex saddle here which was what we want to build and we're going to need tech stuff here so we're just going to need a lot of black pearls we barely have any right now and so that's going to be quite a grind and so let's get to it let's head underwater and get some black pearls got our megalodon pack ready to go let's get our gear on here and let's see we got some gauntlets right okay we should be pretty good there we go we're going to need that for sure and we'll get everybody following dave now i've got resource harvest oh, i thought have a thing resource harvesting turned off of these guys so i've got to look for um everybody coming are we all boosted up here i think i got six megalodons I could go back into the old cave. So I parked everybody by what is the Caverns of Lost Hope. And I know there's 
some chances of getting some black pearls in there but it's just a colossal fight and we've also got to look for some apex drops uh, in addition to that anyway um, so we got to get alpha leads and alpha mos in order to do the alpha overseer which is probably pretty ambitious for us at this point i will uh, you know because it, it's going to take forever to defeat any of those bosses it's not like the 10 minutes or whatever it took to do the dragon um, I don't even think it took 10 minutes to do the alpha dragon um, but we got to make it through the you know the uh, tech cave and all that other stuff to get there it's going to be it's going to be really hard so let's get through this and get as much as we can in order to get ourselves in the best position to be able to do this Okay, here's what we need, or one of the things that we need, it's an alpha leads. It's, ni it's nice to know that we pretty much have nothing to fear anymore here. Yeah, this thing's going down. Okay, so I just need to find, well, the uh, Megalodon should have picked it up. So is everything safe around here? I forgot who got the kill here. Let's see. We can dump this stuff off since we're looking. You can keep some fish, buddy. I forgot to see who got the kill here. Uh, well, you got so much crap here, buddy. And let's see who's got it. Come on, man. Okay, well, you got some stuff here for some reason. Let's grab some of this fish meat in case I run around somebody who's empty. But you, I think we checked you. There's a lot of these dudes. I think we, do we have six or seven of them? Uh, I don't need any of this garbage. Where's the apex drop? Ah, there it is. Phew. And we got a hat. Cool. I love the hats. And we can get rid of this stuff. And reward you with a little bit of fish. These guys are always so hungry. There we go. All right. There's our regular leads over there. Okay, let's move on. Uh, finally some Eurypterids over here. Let's get these guys. Hopefully I can get some black pearls out of this. We've been doing really bad with black pearl finding here. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't want to kill a bunch of Ichthys dudes. Let's get this electric eel though. Okay, cool. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, okay, well... That's all right. Let's move this guy over here. Oh, jellies. There we go. Come on, get in the night area if there are any left. Looks like there's one left. Can I get over there? No. I think something killed it. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Everybody out of the way. Sorry about my singing. No one wants to hear that crap. Okay. If we move this dude, I think we'll be all right. Come on. Maybe. Dave, can we get out of here now? I think I'm on Dave. They're taking damage because we're deep. Oh, screw it. All right. I'm just going to swim over here and grab this guy. I'll probably get more with my pick anyway. There we go. Four black pearls. Not necessarily. What do we got over here? Nothing. Just garbage. Oh, there's another another thing here. Let's see what that was. It's also garbage. Okay, let's move on. Well, we didn't find an alpha mosa, but we did find... Oh, hey, you're following Dave for some reason. Let's unfollow... Where is my otter? We gotta pick that little dude up. There we go. So we made it back to our underwater base. Come on, slow down. Pick him up. There we go. And let's see what we got for black pearls. So we only got 284. That's only gonna allow us to build uh, one of the tech structures. I mean, we do have some more at base. We did get the alpha leads uh, blubber. We did find another one, so we got five total there. And we got a bunch of silica pearls. We weren't trying to collect them necessarily, but we got them when we ate the Eurypterids, trilobites, and ammonites. So might as well 
keep those silica pearls don't weigh a whole lot so yeah so not as successful as i wanted to so where are we on the map so we're at our little base here we didn't make it well we made it a little more than halfway around the island so not too bad found the most um, creatures with the black pearls so far way up the northwest corner there by the snow biome so if you're looking for good black pearls you can find them anywhere pretty much but that was uh the largest amount that we found so let's head back to our base with our goodies uh, my hair is growing long in this episode and we have got enough resources to make a tech replicator and that's the kind of the last thing i wanted to do we don't have quite enough to make a rex saddle but that's okay so let's go ahead and build this darn expensive thing and we're going to do s plus one and there we go it is on its way now i know these things are massive so hopefully I have enough room outside for it. Let me go ahead and grab some element right away. Yeah, let's just grab that little pile there. And let's see just how big this sucker is. So there we go. Um, I kind of want to move it over here. Let's see. Yeah, not too far away. Uh, I think that should be good. All right, there it is. Let's see if it runs. Actually, let's see if it kind of looks like it's, I guess that's good enough as far as the uh, alignment of it goes. So let's look at this thing and pull this in there. There we go. And we can make, now we can make just about everything in here, I think, right? We don't, everything is pretty much a duplicate. So that's kind of nice. We can bring, we got 600, uh, uh, inventory slots so that's pretty cool can make a bunch of the tech stuff yep let's just turn it on see how it looks yeah that's uh, pretty weird looking but pretty cool looking at the same time so I think that's going to do it for today we've got a lot of resources today all gathered up um, yeah so I'm pretty pretty happy with today i was hoping we get some more black pearls i think next time what i'm going to do is head out with my dudes and bring my frog along i think i can get more black pearls with the frog but i'll need the other guys for the uh for the weight to carry them around anyways hope you enjoyed the video if you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel